Four favorite films. Okay, that's an impossible question. I will give you a very questionable answer. 2001 from Stanley Kubrick. Every time I see it, I find new meanings for the story and it's so ahead of its time. The Executioner, El Verdugo, probably the best Spanish movie ever done. And it's a love story between this guy who falls in love with a woman whose father is an executioner. And at that time in Spain, you used to inherit the job of your parents. So this guy starts to fall in love with this woman, but starts at the same time to panic because he thinks he's going to inherit the, the, the job of her father. It's a hilarious um, comedy, but at the same time very critical with the Franco dictatorship. It's very political. I would love to say one Francois Truffaut film because I love Francois Truffaut movies. My favorite Francois Truffaut movie is Small Change. There's not a story, it's just like the ordinary lives of a group of kids at school. Has the best performances ever with kids. I actually, I don't know how he was able to get some of the performances. It's not just the, the camera catching the kids without them knowing they were shot. You can see that there's the whole cinematic approach to some sequences and the kids are incredible. It's a movie that I that I care and I love, I love a lot. My favorite ghost story ever is The Innocence from Jack Clayton. It's an adaptation from The Turn of the Screw from Henry James. Script written by Truman Capote, so that's pretty remarkable. And has a beautiful cinematography by Freddie Francis with a beautiful use of the Cinemascope aspect radio. I love it. It's, a, it's probably my, my, my favorite horror film film ever.